What's up, you guys? This is your girl, Victor Trippin, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Mwah. For our topic right now is zipper. And I love metallic zippers because I think they're very avant-garde. Every fashion show that I do, I always make it sure that every garment has a zipper. I know I overuse metallic zippers, but I just like seeing them on a garment. Zippers are mainly used as an opening for pants, for skirts, and for other garments. But for me, I like experimenting with zippers. They add up like a um, factor to a garment. Like for example, this one. I like how it looks like. It looks so punk rock. It looks so cool. If you are sewing a bomber jacket, if you are sewing a leather motorcycle jacket, or if you just want to attach um, zippers into your bags or to other garments, other projects, you can learn from this tutorial. But anyways, you guys, I am going to teach you how to sew an exposed metallic zipper, a pocket, and of course, I'm going to teach you how to sew them on a Z. So these are the examples that I have. So this is the pocket. This one is the pocket zipper. So I'm going to open it. There you go. Voila. I'm going to put my cell phone in it. And there you go. So big. But anyways, the other one is the seam. So I did this um, last year for um, a sample. And this one, you can sew it on the seam. So this is the seam. But later, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys in a bigger fabric. And this is it. Let's get on it and let's start this tutorial. Okay, you guys. So these are the materials that you will be needing for this tutorial. So fabrics, I already pre-cut it. But on the tutorial, I will tell you the size and the measurement of everything. Your pencil, pins, don't forget, fabric scissors, tape measure, your ruler. Of course, you'll be needing metallic zippers for this tutorial. Or if you don't have metallic zippers, it's okay that you have a plastic zipper. Just make it sure that the teeth of the zipper is exposed. And voila! So the first tutorial that I will be teaching you for today is the pocket zipper. Here on my table, you can see that I have three kinds of fabrics. So this is the face or this is the shell of your garment. 13 inches long and 12 inches width. This is the facing and we will be needing it for attaching it to the self or to the shell of your garment. So this facing has 3 inches length. And 10 inches weave and the last pattern that we have here is for the pocket so the weave is 10 inches and the length is 9 for 8 so the first step that we are going to do is we are going to attach this facing into the shell and pin it in place we're going to locate the half of the length of the facing so the length of my facing is 3 inches and I'm going to divide it by 2, so that's 1 for a piece. Let's mark it. We're going to mark a horizontal line in the middle. Draft your horizontal line. There you go. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to locate the half of the weave. So that's 10 inches divided by 2, that's 5 inches just gonna mark it here and then after that on the left side and on the right side we are going to mark in one inch there you go so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to measure this point from this point to this point making it sure that it's eight inches eight inches there you go get your ruler we are going to mark, mark up, and draft two eight inches. We're going to draft another horizontal line. We are also going to do that at the bottom. So there you go. This is the opening for your zipper. We are going to mark again on this point, 
on the one inch here. We are going to mark four eighths, just mark it. And also on the same side. What we would want to do is we are going to shape it like a triangle all the way there on the edge of the rectangular. There you go. So the next thing that we are going to do after you draft the rectangular line and every line here for the facing, we are going to sew it on the sewing machine. So now we're here on the sewing machine and we are going to sew all of the lines in here except for this diagonal or triangle line here. And of course, we are not going to sew here in the middle, here on the middle line because we are going to cut it later. Okay, let's do it. Cut the excess threads, <clears throat> remove your pins. Now that you have finished sewing your facing into your shell, what you're going to do next is you are going to cut the middle part and you are going to stop here on the edge of the triangle you are going to cut it diagonally not hitting the stitch line there you go good and do it on the same side as well there you go you now have your opening so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to put all of the fabrics on the opposite side and we are going to press it So this is your opening for your zipper. So we are going to go back to the work table and I am going to put the zipper. So the opening of the zipper is 8 inches, making it sure that it's 8 inches. We are going to take another measurement just to make it sure it's 8 inches. That's good. So what I do with the zipper before top stitching it is, you know, you can base it. And for me, I am just going to pin it because I'm most comfortable pinning everything, as you guys know. And again, we are going to the sewing area and we are going to sew it. Let's go. Because I'm gonna do a top stitch, I am going to change my footer into a single one. There you go. And I will start here on the top. This is the easiest way to attach your zipper. To top stitch them. Okay, let's do it. Remove the excess thread, and now you have your zipper attached to your shell or yourself 
And by the way, you guys, this is how it should look like in the back. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to attach the pockets. Let's pin it to reinforce everything. And also in here. Let's do this first on the top. What I'm going to do is I am going to mark. I'm going to use the sewing allowance 6 8 Do it as well here on the other side. So the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to close the the side. Um, so I'll make it sure that I will hit the edge here on the triangle to make it sure that everything is closed. Do it as well on the other side. Cut the excess threads to make it clean. And there you go. So this is your pocket with zippers. There you go, that's the inside. It's beautiful, it's neat. So guys, this is it, your pocket with zipper. So you can actually put a lot of things inside. And this is how it looks like on the inside. There you go. It's really neat. You can actually put your cell phone inside. See? And close it. So this is how it looks like. There you go. And that's my dog. She's playing with my trust form. So our next lesson or our next tutorial will be this seam zipper. So how are we going to attach this zipper into your seam? So that's re it's really easy actually. So what we need to do is we are going to make it sure that this fabric are identical. We should take the measurement of the zipper. So this is five inches. Five five eight inches plus with plus the allowance here at the top of the tape. The importance of this part the excess here on the tape is we are going to attach something here. So the first thing that we need to do is we are going to measure five five eighths in here. Five five eight inches. This is where we, on this line, this is where we want to put the zipper. Of course, we have to mark our sewing allowance, which is me. I always use half inch or four eighths. And here I'm gonna mark down again five by eight inches. So after here on this line, here on the mark of the 558 five inches, we would stop and we would mark. For me, I would always like to use 6 8 inches. Mark 6 8 inches here. To mark down from the top here. 5 5 8 inches which is the size of the zipper and the excess tape so that's 5 5 8 inches the next thing that we are going to do we are going to mark our sewing allowance here on the side until here on the 5 5 8 line and we are going to mark mark out 6 8 inches so this is where we are going to attach the zipper like this we need to mark up 4 8 inches here and make a diagonal line. Yes, so we are going to do that technique as well. Okay, let's sew it on the sewing machine. As you guys can see, I have two fabrics here. And I only marked all of the markings here on the first fabric. To avoid confusion okay first we are going to sew the sewing allowance 
hitting the 558s, but not too much. We are going to sew the sewing allowance, hitting the 558s inches mark. Cut the excess thread. Also in here. And on the back. There you go. So what we're going to do next is we are going to cut the triangle or the diagonal line, whatever you want to call it, but I call it triangle. Do not cut further until the edge over there. There you go. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to press this seam. We're going to press it out like that. So this is it. This is how it looks like. This is the press seam. And you can see the triangle there. We are going to attach our zipper on the triangle. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to open it and we are going to fold the triangle onto the zipper. Let's locate the middle and that is the middle. And after that, we are going to turn this around in here. Get your pin to make it sure that it's still on place. What we're going to do next is we are going to sew everything on the sewing machine. So this is how it looks like on the back. Using your tweezers, we are going to pull the excess fabric to make it sure it's straight and it's in the middle. Okay, let's do it. So here, after you attach the triangle or the diagonal lines into your zipper, so you are going to sew all of your sewing allowance to the zipper tape. My sewing allowance would be 6 8 inches. There you go. So this is how it should look like. So I only left a few centimeters of zipper tape to expose. I would do the same thing on the other side. So I start at the bottom. There you go. I'll make it sure that I sew this as well. I stop here and I pull down my zipper pull. And continue on sewing so this is how it looks like on the other side where we finished and we are going to open the pole we are going to pull it and we are going to start here on the top of the other side with the zipper open and here on the middle I'm going to stop there and I'm going to pull up again the zipper pull there you go and I'm going to sew all the way down now I would also prefer to top stitch everything to make it more clean and to make it more beautiful I like the effect of top stitch There you go. Now you have finished your exposed zipper. So here you go guys. This is your exposed zipper. So this is it. Open it. Close it. And this is how the back should look like. See that? That's your seam. And this is where we attach the triangle. Our diagonal lines. Your seams. Over here, your sewing allowances. There you go guys, this is, our, this is your pocket and this is your exposed zipper on the seam. So that's that and we're done for this tutorial. 
hello guys thank you guys again so so much for watching my tutorials and for supporting my youtube channel and yes we are done with your zippers tutorial and i guess we should move on to to my next lesson or my next tutorial which is the skirts and circle skirts yeah i'm excited to tell you guys that i'm gonna be teaching a lot on my youtube channel with with trippin it's not just only a travel guide channel it's also going to be a tutorial for fashion and of course for pattern making and for sewing thank you guys so much if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and if you are not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button as well and i'll see you guys on my next tutorial stay safe and always pray to god that this pandemic event will be over soon Okay, bye guys! Mwah. See you!